Thorsten müller Otevers joins us from Frankfurt. Thanks very much for speaking to us. So we were just talking there about the Frankfurt Auto Show taking place against a difficult economic backdrop. Has there been any impact on Rolls-Royce? Good morning, Mariam. Uh, no, we haven't seen any impact so far. We are confident our order books are full. We have just recently announced that we see further expansions in our plant in Goodwood. So I'm happy and also very happy uh, with the ongoing, let's say, demand even in the German market, where we have seen uh, that the German market is our fastest moving market within the European markets. So literally you can say in all our markets worldwide we have seen growth, which is great. But you're not doing so well elsewhere in Europe, I suppose, if you were com to compare the rest of the region to Germany. There is a discrepancy there? No, I, would, I wouldn't say that we are not doing so well in the rest of Europe. Europe in general is good for us, but Germany, of course, also due to the economic, let's say, strengths over the last years, Rolls-Royce is doing very well, especially in Germany. I mean, I suppose all the car brands were hit bad during the financial crisis they were hit hard what are your expectations for this year and the next you sound incredibly confident but can this performance be sustained with such strong headwinds here in Europe I mean uh, we have seen uh, of course also in the last crisis a certain downturn in our volume but only very small and for that reason, I'm quite confident and we definitely can't feel currently any mm. crisis which is affecting our business. So I'm confident and uh, what, what I see, what I can hear when I talk to our dealers, everybody is still quite bullish on the market. And so for that reason, I'm not open to talk about, let's say, a crisis which hits our business currently. Definitely not. But given what we saw in 2008, are there plans or measures in place if we were to see another crisis? Would you say the company is better prepared now compared to 2008? Do you have more production flexibility, for example? I mean, I would say that holds true for everybody, more or less, in general, because everybody is now more properly prepared for maybe a second crisis to come. And of course, within Rolls-Royce, we always had been very, very flexible. Also within the crisis in 2008, the company is easy to breathe with all demands coming from the market. And the recent announced investment we have announced yesterday in the plant expansion is exactly also to give us even more flexibility to cope with coming demand or even slowing down demands. So I'm not worried about that. We are very well prepared. Well, so you're very confident, Mr. Udvers, but I just want to take a look at the stock price now of your parent company, BMW, because if you just, just check out this chart over the course of the last five years, I know that you can't see it, but I'm just describing it to you. Over the course of the last five years, shares have more than recovered from their 2008 lows, but just look at that. They've fallen back in line with the rest of the market in recent weeks. So, I mean, tell me, does that suggest that investors are perhaps more worried than you are about the outlook for BMW, perhaps the auto industry at large? No, I would say in general BMW Group is also very confident that the business is still very strong. And when you have recently uh, heard what our, let's say, board member for finance uh, issued, uh, so order books are great also for the BMW Group in total. So I can't comment on what exactly happened now in detail with the share price. But my feeling is at the end of the day, the success counts, and we will also see a new record year for the BMW Group this year, definitely. Now, I know Rolls-Royce is showing an extended version of the ghost at the show. What are your expectations for that model, which seems clearly targeted at China, and, and what else do you have planned to cater to this uh, ever more significant market? I mean, the ghost extended wheelbase we have launched here uh, in Frankfurt is not only targeted for the Chinese market, it is also targeted for our U.S. market, still the biggest market for us. So uh, we are constantly looking into, let's say, further ideas how to develop also existing markets by expanding dealer network or by also, let's say, finding new ways to approach potential customers. So for that reason, uh, it is definitely not only China or the Asian markets where we see growth. We have seen growth literally in all markets all over the world. I mean, your competitors, Mercedes-Benz and Audi, are enjoying surging demand in China. I know you say you're enjoying growth all over the world. But just focusing on China, what steps are you taking to make sure that your brand, your product, stands out? 
What we are doing is, of course, we are selecting very carefully our dealers. The dealer at the end of the day is the one who, let's say, is doing all the contacts to our customers. For that reason, he is the contact point and he is relevant with his whole staff, of course, to make the Rolls-Royce brand experience up to the best. And for that reason, all the dealers we have so far selected, eight dealers in the Chinese markets and more to come, have all proven to be very successful by entering into the right, let's say, target group, which is capable to afford a Rolls-Royce. Thanks very much for joining us, Torsten Müller-Ottevers, CEO of Rolls-Royce Motor Cars.